Colombia has a serious problem and it's definitely not what you're expecting. Colombia is a beautiful country that has a lot to offer, but every country does have their share of problems. This is an issue that gets a little coverage in the media and it's something that few foreigners know about and a lot of Colombians do not even want to talk about this problem. But this is something that has affected quite a few of their residents, more specifically their indigenous population. The problem is forced displacement. Forced displacement happens when someone or something forces inhabitants to leave their houses or property for a variety of reasons. In this case, Colombia has a war that's gone on for over 60 years between militia groups that want more power in the government and the Colombian government and the military. This conflict has forced 6.8 million people to flee their homes to avoid fighting and violence since 1960 and since 2016 nearly 1 million Colombians have been displaced by armed military groups. There are many indigenous people on the streets, often with their malnourished babies, asking for help and selling their crafts, trying to collect enough money to afford diapers and food. I wanted to ask them why this was happening, who they are, and what can be done to solve this issue. So I interviewed a lady who was sitting on a street corner. The interview is in Spanish, but I'm going to put subtitles over the video so everybody can understand what is going on. De donde ustedes vienen? De Choco. De Choco. ¿Y, y qué pasó en, en Choco? Desplazados, grupo armados. Y yo hablé con algunas otras personas y um, ellos me dijeron que los esposos están buscando trabajo. Es, el esposo está tra buscando trabajito, uh -huh. pero todavía no, no, está busca eh, no le dan trabajo. Y, con el, y cuando le dan trabajito y pues con pan comidita también. Sí. Y ustedes han estado aquí por uh, dos años, me, di me dijo. Sí, ¿y, ¿y qué quiere que el gobierno haga? ¿Que ellos uh, dan apoyo o, o ayuda o pañales o comida? O... Sí. Sí. So as the lady said, she is from Choco, which is a department in Colombia. It's on the border of Colombia and Panama. I asked the lady off camera what tribe she was from, and she said the Embera people. The government has helped out about 2,500 Embera individuals, but unfortunately has not helped many people that are in need. So to try to help out with the rent, what they do is they will sell their artisan crafts on the streets. One lady told me that the necklaces, uh, the process to create one lasts two days, and the process to uh, make one of those bracelets, two, three hours, it's crazy. So they're definitely really dedicated, um, and you know, I hope the government does something to help them because it's not right what's happening here. I talked to multiple people off camera and a lot of them told me that the government has not helped to even offer to pay for their diapers and a lot of them do have babies that are malnourished and visibly not feeling well. So I wanted to make this video to help raise awareness to this issue that's been overlooked and hopefully in a few years forced displacement will be a thing of the past and will no longer affect this beautiful country and these beautiful people. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.